Hi guys, and I have a very beaten up Mark 1 Predator in front of me. And uh, as you can see guys, it's been in a bit of a war, or uh, m maybe many wars to be quite honest, uh, to get in that sort of a state. But then again, it fits in uh, with the ethos of the Death Guard, but more importantly for me, it's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to make a completely beaten up and uh, really weathered uh, tank. And also I want to say a huge thank you for the uh, positive feedback that I got on my Spartan video. Uh, in that video I mentioned that uh, I could do with a kick up the bum to actually get around to doing tu some tutorials because uh, it's requested uh, quite a lot and uh, all that positive uh, feedback's not going to deaf ears guys I filmed countless uh, amount of hours of uh, footage on, on this tank and uh, many many clips are sitting on my or clogging up my hard drive I should say at this moment in time waiting for me to uh, sift through all the dodgy footage of me uh, painting off camera or blocking the shots so um over the next week or so I'm going to try and cobble together all those uh, clips into uh, a tutorial and hopefully uh, that'll be up in the next week or two and uh, basically let's just say thank you for all the positive support what I wanted to achieve on this tank was I wanted to paint it as realistically as I possibly could well to my own abilities and uh, the most important thing when uh, painting a vehicle and you want it to look realistic is to actually look at real tanks in the real world and try and replicate the scale of things uh, as on the miniature that you have um, I mean roughly I think this is like a 135th scale so whatever you're painting to scale has to be you know 135th the size of what it would look like on the actual tank I think what a lot of people fail when they're painting uh, vehicles and they want things to look realistic is they don't paint things to scale and what I mean by that is when you paint the chips as you'll see close up now is that the tiny thousands and thousands of tiny little chips that are that are fairly simplistic to do if you know how with the chipping solutions but add a hell of a lot of believability also when I'm doing the streaking I'm not putting large streaks down and if they are uh, large they're stumped completely away from the vehicle so you can barely tell that they're there just a bit like what it would look like on a natural tank so sometimes less is more uh, also there's things on this tank that you won't see that take takes quite a lot of uh, time to do that hopefully I'll be able to show you in the uh, tutorial which is actually doing the fine hand chips after you've done all the actual normal chips to actually add detail back into the tank afterwards I hope that after um, finishing the tutorial that the footage will pretty much show you guys how easy it is to achieve uh, this uh, sort of look I mean, there is a few advanced things uh, going on in this tank, like the overpainting of the decals and a little bit of colour blending work. Not too much, guys. I tried to keep it as simplistic as I could on this one. Um, but uh, the most important thing is it's simple to do, guys, and real good fun. So uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.